Państwowym, nazywam się Paweł Baranowski, pracuję w grupie Polsat. My name is Paweł Baranowski, I work for Polsat. I'm a business partner and run a portfolio of sales projects. What I'd like to talk to you about is our uh, roadmap that we implemented in terms of introducing paperless at point of sale. Now, our group is one of the biggest Polish private companies. We're a leading provider of media content and telecoms. And all in all, we have about 20 million pay TV, telephony, and internet access subscribers. After our merger with Interia, we're also one of the leading providers of internet content with 21 million unique users each month. One of our strategies that we develop additionally is a third pillar of a sort, which is becoming a leader of clean energy. We want to produce clean hydrogen for future generations. This is the lineup of our group with some of our main core services we provide in terms of media and telecoms. Now, there are more companies than these in the group. This is just the, the stable. We're also looking at sustainable development. We want to give back to society by developing all sorts of services and developing the ones we've already got. We also support the Czysta Polska Association, or the, the Clean Poland program, uh, which is an idea of how to get rid of uh, things like using paper or making our forests or nature more uh, people-friendly. Now, I mentioned 70,000 reams of paper. What does that mean? That means 4.3 thousand trees we saved, we did not cut down. That's 95 million liters of water that would have been necessary to make paper, and 12,000 people able to breathe clean air because of the oxygen from those trees we protected. You can't buy clean air, you can't produce clean air, you have to care for clean air. This is a pallet with about 300 reams of paper. So that 70,000 reams is 233 pallets or 154 tons of paper that our group would use up at a point of sale in a year. So that's the amount we have been able to save thanks to moving to paperless. Now, this wasn't just paper we sent to the customer. That's also paper that would come back to us that we had to archive, and it would uh, obviously take up space. So was it worth it? Of course it was. Now, how you do it is you always establish a project in an organization. So the idea for this project was to uh, make it possible for our customers to um, conclude contracts and annexes in an electronic form. And we wanted to cover over 1,000 of our uh, points of sale and uh, over 3,500 uh, sales assistants who had to get these qualifications. We had to introduce an electronic document circulation um, archive and, and, and a management system. These services had to be compliant with the law. They had to be protected with the qualified services. And last but not least, they had to be convenient to use for the customer. And that's why we decided to go for tablets. A uh, pen is used to sign the agreement digitally on the tablet by the sales assistant and the customer. Now, the main business values for the clients, the sales force, and our back office. Now, for the sales force and the customers, it's faster. The sales assistant can focus on uh, providing more information to the customer or processing more customers, and so it's faster for the customer. And the customer doesn't leave with a pile of paper Instead, they receive all these documents in a digitized format to the email box. The data are safe. The documents can't be lost. They um, can't, don't lie around the POS. They don't need to be sent by courier delivery service. 
So it's safer in terms of the customer data. What we also promote is that every time a sale is made, we show to the customer that they are contributing to moving away from paper. So irrespective of their rage, they should know that everybody can go digital and everybody can chip in in terms of leaving this uh, traditional paper document path. Now for our back office, that basically changed the situation altogether. No more scanning, no more delivering paper documents, no more verifying and validating. These documents are there, they are in the electronic archive. Now for the group, the benefits include building an image of an environmentally friendly company and we also reduce some of the costs that we have to incur in terms of the archive, archiving the documentation and we show we know how to change and follow trends. Now we did it as part of two stages. First of all, we introduced it as part of PLUS, which is our telecoms operator. We had to change about 20 different systems. We introduced Signaturix, which is our signing platform that brings these other systems together. Now phase two, which partly ran in parallel, was when we focused on television services and about 18 systems had to be modified. And we used the same signature platform and we introduced this mechanism whereby a single platform provides its services to different companies within the group, uh, keeping the necessary Chinese walls. Now, this is our timeline. We started in around about October 2020, but we actually started in March 2020 by looking at all the different providers present on the market. After selecting the provider, we started preparing the architecture, we prepared our implementation plan, and it took us about five months for PLUS. It was also broken down into two phases. In May, we were already ready with the first processes in production in terms of testing how this worked in this new ecosystem of tablets. We also looked at all things to do with security on the tablets. After all, these are customers' data, so we had to ensure the necessary security and safety requirements. So we would deliver the tablets and the ecosystem for the tablets, and um, in parallel, we also had to start working on television services. That was to start with June. November was the end of it, and the actual rollout for production was in January. So these are the two dates. September was when PLUS was fully commercialized at the 1,000 POSs. And then January 2022 is when the television services moved to all these new platforms. What were the challenges? When you look at the milestones, we must say that one of the major milestones was related to the pandemic, to COVID. So we met in person only after the PLUS services were launched. So all the training sessions were uh, delivered online. We had huge priorities and uh, COVID actually turned everything upside down and we had to explain it to the management board that we needed to uh, develop other channels uh, to remove uh, paper from the process and uh, this was related to payments, additional payments for our clients so that during the pandemic uh, uh, services were delivered in a paperless uh, way. We thought about biometric signature, so uh, we had to change uh, the concept of uh, having uh, consultations with our legal department and uh, uh, signatures using uh, qualified uh, stamps, uh, um, seals and time stamps. So this was extremely important. Taking into account the success that we achieved in May, we decided to uh, make use of the synergy of this teamwork so that we could um, roll up uh, 
uh, all the solutions step by step. Another solution was related to the fact that we had to reinvade uh, the uh, security um, approaches uh, to our tablets, that we will give them to POSs, and that would be it, the, the tablets will be secure. But it was not uh, that simple. Uh, Samsung and Knox helped us a lot because we created the security uh, system around the tablet, uh, taking into account access to our uh, corporate structure, um, and it included data privacy uh, solutions. What else is important? Uh, during the pandemic, uh, it was extremely important to find a place of your own. So we uh, reorganized our team so that they could work in an agile uh, way to achieve incremental growth uh, so that we have incremental growth at POSs. Uh, there were a few additional projects, uh, sometimes they were challenging and they needed a lot of attention. Before we launched the Polcomtel Plus uh, uh, initiative, uh, there was a rebranding project. It was kept in secret in order to surprise uh, the market with a new layout and phasing out of some of the services. And we had to change regulations, we had to change a logo, we had to um, wind down some of the services. Uh, so on the one hand, we had to do it in a visual form, but we had to consider whether it was worthwhile to uh, add additional services. Pulsat Box, for example. We decided that the uh, plus operator is going to uh, manage uh, these internet services. So this was the strategic decision regarding data pulse at box. There was yet another project that made it possible to uh, change the archive within the group. We decided to separate different layers of the archive and we created a platform related to uh, digital uh, documents so that they would be a part of the dedicated services outside of the archive. Polsat Plus, uh, our IT specialists, uh, uh, with assistance of a number of vendors uh, have done a great job. We were a one team, we have been one team all the time. And Pavel, if people asked us, uh, um, how is it going? And uh, we would say that this approach means that we change something really, that we are not doing something only for the group that we are doing something to change the entire environment. So let me present ASECO data systems and qualified trust service uh, provider ASECO Poland as our major vendor of uh, many uh, sales uh, uh, software solutions, extension, uh, Signaturix uh, platform owner, and Samsung, who is the supplier of tablets for signature and MDM Knox security solution. A simple example without uh, dates without showing uh, the exact uh, time periods, but you can see the speed at which a new digital solution uh, took ground. Within uh, one and a half, two months, it reached uh, around 80 percent. It was at the beginning of the implementation process. Now we know that it's about 90 percent of uh, 
uh, plus services that takes this form and 80 percent in terms of uh, TV services is done electronically. A few other milestones, one of them uh, has been completed uh, after the first feedback, feedback from uh, points of sales, we decided to assess the new system of document navigation. And uh, there is a product test underway, and it will see uh, reality very soon. Thank you. That's all.